Welcome back. So I just proved last lesson, or at least I tried to prove that whenever you're reading orders right now, you're getting back all orders, even though you only need the orders that the customer has, right? So that's a problem. Now we want to fix that by trying to remove and move this down one level into the repository so that the repository knows how to get the actual orders uh, for our code right here. Now, your object-oriented spider senses might be tingling right now because we don't want to recreate a method for each of the different things we want to do, but actually I think you should, at least for a beginning, and then later you can start uh, generalizing more if you want to. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new function that kind of includes orders uh, right here. So read by ID, include orders. I'm going to add that one inside my customer repo so that we're going to get a specific way to actually get our specific customer, including his orders, because that will also be easy for us to unit test later on, even though it actually means we have to write more code. So I'll add this function inside our first inside our I customer repository. And that pretty much means, of course, I need to add it inside the customer repository down here, right? So I'll just add it down here. Let's just do an implementation. There we go. And I also have to add it because I still have the old setup. And that's again why I say you should just remove it when you get to the point. Where, it's get, where it gets annoying enough, you just remove it. So you don't have this twice, right? But inside the customer repository, inside my SQL setup, right? What I wanna do is, I wanna include this guy now. Now, I just, I'm just going to paste in the stuff I took from the other class, so we can see what we need to do. Let's just move it up to the read by ID here, so they are close together. Now, notice right here, what I need to do is I need to get the customers, and I need to include his orders. Now the cool thing is, it's so easy inside the context. So this right here will actually change into something new. Let me try and show you how easy it is. What we can do when we have a context available is, let's just do exactly the same thing like we're doing up here. We'll say return CTX, right, the context. And then what we'll do is, we'll say the context of customers, and then we want to include something. So when we want to include something, what we'll do is we'll call include. There is something called include. And here we can use a Lambda expression. What we want to include is a customer's orders, right? It's that simple. So I want to include the orders. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing, right? And then I want to, again, do a first or default like we did before. First or default. And then I want to do the exact same thing like we're doing up here. So that's kind of how simple it is. Um, this is what it turns into right here instead of the instead of the old way where we did it where it was this huge setup now it's only this small um, response right here but now the responsibility is moved down to the repository pretty much mean that I have to make another function down here so it's up to you how you want to do it but you should start just considering having multiple functions is okay for the repository because then we can make some very specific queries down here and then we are going to reuse these functions later on if we want to. Let's jump back to the service and see what that looks like now. It pretty much just means that the service, all it's doing is pretty much just getting this guy uh, right here and nothing else. We don't have any other logic, database logic up here now anymore. Let's try and run this again and see how this actually looks now inside um, the SQL queries, if it's improved in any way. Let's just try and clear the buffer again. So let's just try and execute the command and see what we're getting here in the code. There we go. Now, because this is a list, we are still going to have two statements, I know that, two SQL calls, but look at this. Well, first, we're getting the customer, and just like you had before, pretty much, and the second call you're doing, that's actually kind of exciting right here, the second call you're getting is actually a join now. That means that now I'm only getting the orders belonging to this customer, and that's very important. Instead of getting all orders, I'm only getting the customer orders now for this specific customer, pretty much making my statement a lot better. So it means that I'll have to move some of my database logic from service down into the repository, which makes perfect sense. The repository is there to build logic for your SQL database, right? So that's no problem at all. We need to do this. We need to continue uh, doing it like this because or else we'll end up with too many queries and too complex queries. Now, that's it for this lesson. Next lesson, we'll have even more fun.